hello everyone and welcome to my channel in this video we will uh, learn the uh, safe disposal and handling of the hazardous waste in previous video we have already seen the introduction and the uh, characteristic source etc so you can go and watch the previous videos first and then uh, watch this video so let us move or uh, we can start with the safe storage and handling of the hazardous waste so as uh, coming on to the storage and collection as you all know the storage can be uh, done on the uh, on-site practice and uh, uh, there is also the large quantity of the uh, storage and collection of the hazardous waste and, and last it is the small quantity of the uh, storage and collection of hazardous waste so on-site pr on practice means uh, uh, the period over which the generation occurs for example at, at a period when the generation is occurred it is directly stored at a, or it is directly st uh, stored and collected into the uh, container at the site only so it is the on-site practice coming on to the uh, large quantity so in this the uh, it is a special facility uh, having a sufficient capacity to hold the uh, the waste accumulated over a period of several days so these are the waste which is uh, uh, accumulated over a period of days and uh, has the sufficient uh, capacity to store this large quantity of hazardous waste now coming on to the uh, small quantities so in small quantities uh, we can say that uh, contamination and uh, con containers and uh, the uh, facilities used to store the water uh, store the hazardous waste and to handle the hazardous waste uh, depending upon the uh, waste characteristics so the waste can be uh, containerized and uh, the uh, limited quantity of store so when the small quantity of these uh, hazardous waste is generated it is uh, uh, stored and handled as per their uh, waste characteristic and they are in these small quantities <laughs> now let us see the example for storage so for storing the hazardous waste into the containers so if there is a corrosive acid uh, or caustic solutions th that are to be stored in the fiber glass or glass lined containers to prevent the deterioration of the metal in the container so if there is a uh, uh, acidic uh, the acidic type of the hazardous waste it is to be uh, uh, containerized uh, to prevent the deterioration of the uh, it is to be containerized in the glass lined containers so that it can be prevent the deterioration of the metals now coming on to the second uh, the great care must be uh, also be exercised to avoid storage incompatible uh, waste in the same container or locations so here you can see different containers which uh, are used to uh, store and uh, collect the hazardous waste or liquids now coming on to the characteristic or containers for hazardous waste so the characteristic is container should be in good condition waste must be compatible with container inspection must be carried out periodically and uh, the many any waste in the container is damaged or leaking must be containerized again so it should be in good condition waste should be compactable then the uh, inspection should be carried out uh, periodically and lastly if there is any damage or leakage in the container uh, so the container should be uh, again containerized into the another uh, container now coming on to the uh, drums so there are generally two types of drum so the first drum is light gauge close headed drum so here you can see the figure is provided that light gauge close headed drum in which this is closed and uh, this is uh, light gauge close has a headed drum uh, which has the rolling hoops uh, at uh, the bodies and there is also a vent for the air and this is the bottom head and this is the top head now coming on to the second it is the light gauge open headed drum here you can see in which there is a, a top head and there is a ring or I can say bolt ring of uh, 12, 12 gauge 
and it has the rolling hoop three rolling hoops in which in this in this container there was only two rolling hoop the in this light gauge open headed drum there are three rolling hoop so there are two light gauge open headed drum and light gauge close headed drum now coming on to the uh, collection of the hazardous waste so the the waste generator or the uh, we can say the specialized hauler or the uh, general collector generally the collectors or the hazardous waste to be delivered to the uh, uh, treatment or disposal so the waste gen the, the waste which is generated at the location is to be transported or should be collected and transported to the delivery so that at the point at which the treatment or disposal or the treatment for that waste is carried out so the loading of collection the loading of collection vehicle is uh, completed in either two ways so the waste the first way is waste uh, stored in large capacity tank either are, are either drained or pumped into the collection vehicle so if there is a large capacity tank that is to, uh, stored with the hazardous waste or liquid are to be uh, either drained or pumped into the collection vehicle so they are to be co collected into the collection vehicle either by draining them or by pumping them coming on to the second so the uh, waste stored in sealed drum or sealed containers are loaded by hand or mechanical equipment onto flatbed trucks if the store uh, if the hazardous waste are stored in the sealed drum or in the sealed container so they are to be loaded into the flatbed trucks using the mechanical equipment or manually by manually hand now let us see the precautions while transporting the uh, hazardous waste so first the stored containers are transported unopened it should be unopened to the treatment and disposal facilities so while transporting the uh, hazardous waste or containers to the treatment and disposal facilities it should be unopened second precaution to avoid accidents the and the possibilities of uh, possibilities of uh, uh, loss of life two uh, uh, collectors should be assigned when hazardous waste are to be collected so there should be always two men or two collectors to uh, uh, to uh, avoid the accident of the and the uh, possible loss of life so here you can see the containers uh, moving to the treatment and disposal facility now coming on to the transfer facility so transfer facility is the the, f the facility of hazardous waste uh, transfer station are quite different from the uh, solid uh, waste transfer station so this uh, the transfer station is the uh, station at which the just, uh, the waste is uh, uh, treated and disposed uh, safely so hazardous waste uh, transfer station are quite different than the solid waste transfer system so uh, typically the hazardous waste are not compacted as as uh, in the solid waste they are compacted and uh, they are reduced in the in the volume by the compaction and uh, the liquid hazardous waste are pumped uh, in from the collection vehicle to the treatment facilities and move from the uh, the uh, collection or uh, we can say vehicle to the storage tank of that uh, the facility and also uh, the hazardous waste transfer facility uh, are are having the uh, large storage capacity of that uh, uh, hazardous uh, storage capacity and also some processing and uh, storage facility are often part of the material handling sequence at the transfer station now coming on to the transportation there are three ways for the transportation the first way is the road transportation of the hazardous second coming on to the uh, it is the rail transportation and lastly third it is the uh, water transportation so uh, this this is the cargo track 
then the in in the let us see in the uh, road so in the road it is the cargo uh, uh, crane or uh, tracks it is uh, cranks so small or large uh, transporters that are generally used and then useful for life of cargoes now here you can see different different ways of transportation so let us see the uh, uh, collection equipment and accessories for the different kind of waste categories so if we see the first category which is uh, radioactive substance so the radioactive substance are to be uh, collected in the through the truck and rail uh, road equipments depending upon the characteristic of the waste second character it is the uh, toxic chemicals so if there is a toxic chemical it has to be uh, containerized and it should be transported on the uh, flat belt uh, trucks uh, for uh, waste stored in drums and coming on to the third character category which is the biological waste so biological waste standardized packing should be done and it should be collected on the uh, truck as well as special precautions to be provided and the fourth it is the flammable waste so the while transporting the flammable waste the uh, special colorings or we can say safety warnings printed on the vehicle should be stick on the uh, both face of this uh, vehicle to avoid uh, to uh, to have the uh, precautions then coming on to the fifth which is the explosive waste so the explosive waste should be uh, transported uh, should be avoided to transport this kind of waste through the residential area and, uh, and they are very toxic so it is restricted on the transportation routes especially through residential area so here we complete with the storage and uh, uh, the transportation of the hazardous waste storage and handling of hazardous waste thanks for watching and uh, uh, stay tuned thank you like share and subscribe to my channel thanks